everybody, this is Samantha Deneef with Arkansas Catholic and Your ID, and I'm excited to be here today to talk about my biggest mistake in small group. I've been in small group ministry uh, since I converted about 10 years ago, whether I was in one, leading one, training small group leaders, it's what I've done. And if you talk to parish renewal experts across the country, almost all of them will say small groups is the vehicle for parish transformation. It's got to happen. Um, one reason why I think this is, is because it's how Jesus did it. He had a small group of 12 people that he lived with and taught with, the apostles, uh, and formed them to be leaders in our church. So that's why it's so important. So my mistake. So I got to run my own small group this year. I picked out my people. My husband and I decided to do it to, together. I invited them. I said, we're going to get together for like eight weeks during Lent and talk about Sunday readings. We got together and immediately I realized we were not gelling well. Uh, we needed just time to form authentic friendships. My mistake is I did not emphasize the power of community enough. Uh, it transforms everything when you're looking at authentic friendships. My husband, when we were talking and prepping, said that when he was growing up, he was always so envious of the small groups that Protestants ran because they just had real friendships. They'd get together and not just focus on scripture, but just on having fun together. He remembers his Protestant small groups spending the night at each other's houses and playing video games all night or going to football games together, just having fun. Not to belabor the point, but as I was praying about this, God reminded me of a friend I was meeting with, a small group leader, and we were talking about something different. But in the conversation, she says, you know, I have my work friends, I have my church friends, I have my in real life friends. And I've been thinking about that. Wait, hold on. So we put all our church friends in a box? That's not good. Because when we do that, that means that, okay, we're going to act a certain way around these people. We're going to talk a certain way. There are going to be things that are off limit because they're in this box. And that's not authentic friendship. So I really want to encourage you to look at that and think about that. I actually have a challenge for you. Two parts. Part one, test to see if your small group is too faith formation focused instead of authentic friendship focused. So what I mean by this is as a DRE, as a director of evangelization, it is so easy for us to say like, look at all this great material. You've got to get through it. It will transform lives. It's so good to learn about this theology and this scripture. It's amazing. And we get really excited about that. But we have to remember that community is key too. So test your group by hosting a, shh, that's my kids, shh, forming community. Um, so test your group um, by hosting a community night or a, a, a fun night where you're not going to focus on faith formation. Have a bonfire, have a cookout, um, and see how many people show up. What I found over my experience is if a group isn't focused on strong authentic friendship, you won't have as many people show up because it's, eh, it's just a community night. I don't really have to go. But if you have real friendships forming, everybody will show up. So that's a good tester. And then if you see like, ooh, we need to work on our authentic friendships, really start focusing on that in your small groups. Find ways to like maybe have more food, have some good drinks, hang out, go to the movies with people, do just fun things together. I'm going to leave you with a uh, one final quote that I love from 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8. And it says, So, being affectionately desirous of you, we were ready to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our own selves, because you had become very dear to us. So I really want to encourage you, if you're a small group leader, if you're in a faith formation study, find ways to share your very own selves, not just the gospel. Because make the people in your group dear to you, and they will know Jesus through your love. Look forward to seeing you guys next time.